Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. serious right punch and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. 
good jab. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off of him by blocking all these attacks. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. And they separate. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Leg and kick. both fighters exchange in the pocket. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. against the fence as he continues to keep his opponent on the defense. He keeps him defensive and never gives him an opportunity to rest. And they separate. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Straight punch land. Right hand, yes. Man, his counters are on point tonight. The jab is good. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Just misses with that one. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. The next with a right. Unable to connect there. the right hand. Big head kick. Marty engages in a single collar tie here. 20 seconds to go in round one. Just out of the range with that right hand. That was a nice strike. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Big punch land. Real quick leg kick. 
Trying to establish that jab once again. Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Counters there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. Oh, man. Don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in. Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighters setting it up and throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. Nice. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he's landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Big knee land. And they separate. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Big leg kick lands. Punch over the top. Punch is blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Lee gets lit up by that straight punch. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Beautiful strike. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Strong leg kick there by Lee. Just misses with the straight left hand. Get those combinations going. Those hands. Beautiful leg kick throw. That's a big strike right there. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Right up the elbow. Body kick land. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, that right hand is on point. Huge knee land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. No give on that leg kick. Right on the button. 15 seconds. Just out of range with that left hook. Wow, that right punch has been the mighty weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw this. His opponent limping a little bit, tried to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, 
until he makes some sort of adjustment. Come on now, let's shake it out. Let's get back in there, let's get back to the game plan. Hands high, work behind. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Not there. Let's go. I need you to be first there. Oh, there's the head kick. It's blocked. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. The right punch is there. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Nice to the punch. Oh, collar tie. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, nice. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You got to like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws. It's crazy. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, nice jab to the head by Lee. Let's go. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And they separate. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Nice punch there. Beautiful sequence of strikes there. Nice combination. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Big kick land. Continues to mix it up over the head, mixing in some body shots. Powerful leg kick lands. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Right hand on point. range with that one. Able to check the high kick. Nice body kick. Back and forth we go! Right hand upstairs. Straight right, he misses. Great punch. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Nice one, two there. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Chase that finish down now. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. 
Nice punch lands over the top. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh! Massive kick to the head. How about those five minutes? signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Jeez Louise. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. His opponent limped a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. They continue to exchange. He slips the shot. Good punch. Just misses with the jab there. Let your hands go. Let them go. Lance with the right hand. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Still nice body to land. And they separate. Ooh, what a punch. He blocks the punch. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Big right hook, but a whiff. Got the single collar tie. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Hey, right down the middle, Real sneaky body kick. I mean, that right hand landed square. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Look at the turnover in that kick. All right, single collar tie now. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Do you believe it? Oh! Woo! What a fight! Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career.
So there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC heavyweight champion. And I'm not sure under that onslaught, a flurry of strikes to set up the TKO and championship victory here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 42 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO. So we hear, and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of height, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to.